David disappears and shows up at the library again. Finally accepting he has superpowers, David returns home, grabs his savings, and escapes in order to start a new life. First though he stops by Millie's house to leave the snowblobe so she knows he's alive and well. Next, David moves to the city, rents a dingy room at a motel, and begins testing his powers. The first few times he ends up crashing against a tree, but eventually he gets the hang out of it by looking at pictures of the places he wants to go to. His first visit is to the Empire State Building, where David has fond memories of his mother Mary. When he feels ready, David visits a bank to get an idea of what it looks like inside, and in the evening he teleports inside the vault to steal all the money. While David celebrates in his little room, the bank discovers the robbery and Roland shows up pretending to be NSA. He has experience with cases like this and knows of the existence of jumpers, in fact he's sure one of them did this. Eight years later, David is living the best life. He has a luxurious penthouse apartment in New York and such good control of his powers that he uses them just to reach the kitchen. 